the number one thing that people are afraid of? Spiders? Death? Nuclear holocaust? No, it's public speaking. How can I get over my fear of public speaking? Join forensics. What's forensics? Forensics is competitive public speaking with categories like... The first call we're going to start with is the box call. The parts of the box call, the body, close on all four sides except the top, and the wing, the part that pivots on the top. To create sound, you're going to place the wing on the edge and run it across like this. You've now created a simple sound on your box call. Or... And stay in here! And that's where I spent my night. In the locked closet. I remember telling myself, maybe it's better this way. This way, he can't hurt me. I kept telling myself that. He can't hurt me. He can't hurt me. Or... Let me preface my admittedly condescending remarks by saying this. This town really does have a lot to offer if you're into the small town thing, which, as you may have guessed, I am not. For instance, there are all these quaint little shops where you can buy quaint little things to put in your quaint little house. And grocery shopping is pretty much convenient for everyone since no one lives more than five minutes driving distance from the pick and save. Face it, our town is not the most scenic place on earth unless you're into cornfields. Or... Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, 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 or By 16, I was pickled with ointments, medications, peroxides, teeth corralled into steel prongs, laying in a hospital bed, face packed with gauze cushioning the brand new nose the surgeon had carved. Belly gorged on two pints of my own blood I had swallowed under anesthesia, and every convulsive twist, like my body screaming at me from the inside out, what did you let them do to you? Or... The roar of the engines, the screech of the tires, and the absolute thrill of watching cars fly by at speeds that seem almost incomprehensible. Yes, indeed. The Indianapolis 500 has come yet again. This race comes every year, but how much do people actually know about the first ever 500 mile race? Or... Then Cushion the Porcupine decided to visit the pig pen. He stood outside and said his sad, sad poem. <clears throat> I've been so lonesome all my life, and though you're pink and fat, I'm porcupining for a wife, so I won't. Mention that? I love forensics. Uh, I love forensics. I love forensics. I love forensics. If you want to learn more, come to our first meeting on November 11th in room 119. Join Waterford Forensics today. <laughs>